with Grant. There he is. Good day, good day. Since having all the rain, it's made all the grass grow. Lantana flower. Lantana is a weed. It takes over. Probably up there. Uh-huh. You see right up there in the distance in them trees. Yeah. There. That's the fairy forest. Yeah. Well you think you'll eat fairies? Maybe. Out of them fairies. <laughs> so what are we actually doing? Why are we walking all this way? What are we doing? Why are you carrying a bin? This is where we take our rubbish. <laughs> it's a long walk. I've got a hole dug just up here where we dump our rubbish from the kitchen every day. Uh, this is what we do in the bush. All of that, it's like this all across Australia, even in the cities. They have to walk about a kilometre with their bin every morning. No, I caught a snake for the... The landlord's kid had a snake in the feed shed. And um, they worried about it catching and eating the baby peacock they got. So he asked me to move it for him. Do you want to see it? Mm-hmm. So this isn't the first snake you've caught though, is it? You've caught a few. Yeah, I move them. Call what do you do? I move them. You relocate them? I relocate them. <laughs> um, basically just take them somewhere safer that's better for the snakes and away from people and away from roads and somewhere. And Somewhere they're not going to get hurt and they can just go on their own way. Instead of them getting a shuttle to the head. Yeah. Because I don't want to see that. I like them. Especially big ones like this. It's a biggie. Um, the, the last snake I caught, I released a bit further down from here, down the creek. It was a, a spotted python. The video for that, is, the link is right here. Will be. <laughs> yep. Um, and today I've got a carpet python that's about, I think it's about five, six foot long. Wow. He's got his head up, taste in the air. Mm, yummy air. Beautiful pattern, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he just a carpet? Yeah, carpet snake. Stick your hand in the air, strike. Yeah, he doesn't seem friendly. He's in the air. That's how they get the power. Step back. They get power from the S shape, then they watch. That's exactly right, Tish. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Got his mouth open. <laughs> Have you got his head? Yeah. You can see his head in here. Mm-hmm. See his mouth. Oh, he's squeezing tight. Yeah. 
you need to get him off. So even at this size you can I can really feel him starting to squeeze my hand now. They're not poisonous at all, they've got no venom. They kill their prey by wrapping around, squeezing it tight, constricting, until they can't breathe anymore. Every time they take a breath out they squeeze harder. And um, once they've squeezed them to death, then they nudge them around to position and eat them head first. You want a hand? No, that's right. <coughs> So we're just going to release him. Yep, he is. Okay, so this is a lovely spot for him down here. He's got plenty of places to hide with logs and leaves and grass and um, there's a little creek down here, so there's water for it. Yeah, but he's heading straight for me. That's alright, he won't hurt you. Yeah, he will. No, he won't. It would just strike you. Do you want me to film? No. As long as he goes by. Oh, he's gone. If you come around this side, he'll just go straight past you. Same with you, Fish, just make sure you stand still. Yeah, he's only not even quite five foot long, only about four foot, five foot. Have you got him on the log? Put your birds there watching him too. Hey, bad? Yeah. You would eat the bitch of bird, wouldn't you? Just disappearing into this bit of bushy, bushy plant here. The birds were making a noise as they do when they see a snake to alert the other birds. The snake this size will eat, eat birds, no worries. So you can hear that bird up in the top of the tree giving out a warning that there's a snake. And there he goes, back where he should be, out in the wild. So we released him down there in the creek bed. He's come up into the bush here, find a bit of cover. And the birds up the top of this tree are making a bit of a racket, making a noise, letting all the other birds know that there's a snake around. If you're out walking in the bush too, that's a, a good way of knowing if there's um, snakes or goannas or other predators around, the, the birds will be making a noise. Usually if it's um, humans or you know people walking through, they'll go quiet. 
and if there's um, a predator like a snake or a, a big lizard or anything they'll carry on like this and make a big noise so you can barely even see him in there anymore he's just hidden amongst the branches and that's exactly what I wanted all right little birds like that won't worry him at all the only worry they got is from um, like big birds of prey like eagles kites um, yeah a kookaburra might have a go at something that size not likely though kookaburras generally go for a smaller snake thanks very much for joining us as we release the snake back where he should be out in the bush and it's only couple of kilometers away from where I found him in the food shed so he's still in his home ground really just a bit further away from the house and people this is it folks for now